Hi there, it's Mrs. Anna. Today we're gonna do a sensory bin with Easter eggs and some other tools you may have at home that you can use. So first, you're going to need some Easter eggs. Just some plastic Easter eggs. Or any kind of eggs that are plastic. Also need some kitchen utensils and some buckets. You can use a ladle and you can have a whisk and a funnel. You're also going to need a bin. A big bin is better than a small one, um, but you can use any size, plastic, clear, storage bin, whatever you have, or a, a metal pan, foil pan. Today I'm gonna to use a little tub just so I can show you what to do. You're also going to need some water. So let's start first by pouring the water into the bucket. Maybe pour it about a halfway full, whatever bucket you use. This does get messy, so it's good to have plastic under you or to do it outside on the table or on the, even on the ground. Somewhere where if water splashes, it's okay. Then some utensils. Okay, let's get our eggs. We're gonna put some eggs in here. Just pop the eggs in like that. Um, when it, the bigger the tub is, the more eggs you can put in. I'm gonna put a few eggs in here. I'll put a big egg in there. The small plastic ones are fun because they have little holes in it. Oh, I'll show you what they do. It makes them fun. That should be good. And then you just get your utensils. You can have them on the side at first, or you can put them inside for the kids to grab. And basically, with this sensory bin, they're building their hand-eye coordination. They're strengthening their fine motor skills. They're practicing colors. You, you can ask them, what color eggs do you have in the bin? Or um, different questions you can ask them. It also causes them to explore cause and effect. So, Let's see if I pick up the ladle with this. Will it fit in here? Will water come in there? They can say, oh, there's two. If they see the holes in there, they might say, oh, let me try to put some water in there. So they might want to scoop water in, the, in half the egg to see what happens. And so that causes them to explore different ways to play with the eggs. You can scoop them. You can use the this to pour water in, another option, use the funnel. So they're practicing on their fine motor skills by picking everything up and scooping, and they're strengthening them. And they're building on hand eye coordination, watching the water fall through the egg and come out of the egg. And so those are just some options you can do with this. You can also use the whisk. The whisk is kind of fun to put the egg inside the whisk can if you have one big enough and shake it stir you can put bowls in there if you have any bowls you can stick bowls in here these are just many different things you can do with easter eggs you can even just fill the easter eggs up with water and close it and pretend you're making eggs try to crack it and pour it open you can put some coloring in the egg, some liquid colors in there if you'd like. There's a lot of options with these eggs. This egg doesn't have a hole, so this one oh, has two little holes. But if you just put it on the bottom and put the top and cover the hole, now they have a water shaker. So this is just a fun idea for, for outside play or even inside if you have a little towel you can put on a table. And it has Easter eggs, so it kind of goes with the theme of Easter. And this is what I have for you, an Easter egg sensory bin. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye.